Hey guys, this is Chef Chris, and today we are making Zuppa Toscana Soup, a classic Italian soup. Takes me back to my days working in Olive Garden in Albuquerque, New Mexico. They serve two soups, minestrone and Zuppa Toscana. This was my favorite. It's so creamy, so delicious, so hearty, so fresh. And uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to make it. You're going to love this. All right, so we're going to get started with our prep work, okay? We're going to start off by dicing a white onion. And of course, I'm going to have all the ingredients and measurements listed down below, as usual. So uh, we're going to start off by dicing an onion. We also got two garlic cloves here. We're going to give them a nice chop as well. And uh, we're going to use here some potatoes. Now, you want to go with either Yukon Gold or Russet Potatoes. I'm using just regular Russet. You want to give these a nice slice, okay? We're not going to go ahead and dice these up. We're just going to slice them up evenly. As you can tell, the slices aren't too big, not too small. We're going to throw those in some water just to keep them from, from oxidizing until we use them. And we also have a couple of bacon strips here now. I have four bacon strips that I sliced in half, and we're going to go give those a nice little mince, okay? Just slice them up nicely. All right, we also have two sausages. Now, use your favorite. I'm using, you want to go with the spicy one for sure. Depending on the spiciness, we're going to add a little more crushed peppers. But go ahead and take the skin out, and uh, we're going to throw those right into a pot. Now, uh, we've got heat, the heat here on just about maybe medium, medium high. And we're going to go ahead and give this a nice stir and just saute these. Get it nice and brown. Bring the color. Now, like I said, depending on the heat, these sausages were actually spicy, but never too spicy for me. I threw in a nice uh, pinch of red pepper flakes. And we're going to break this down, okay? You don't want the sausage peaches to be too big, too small. Just about there was perfect. All right, so I took them out of the pot. Set them aside, and in the same pot, all that flavor is on the bottom. You don't, you want that. It's beautiful. That's gonna break down with the oil that's inside of the uh, the bacon. We're gonna give those a nice saute until they're just about not crispy, but once they are just about right there, like you saw, we're gonna toss in those onions, okay? And we're gonna saute this this just as well. Now we're not gonna add any salt or any pepper at this point. We don't know how salty this bacon or how salty the sausage is. We're going to adjust seasonings later, guys, all right? All right, so once the uh, onions have become translucent, it's time to throw in those minced garlic that we chopped up. And we're going to cook this only for about a minute or two. You, we, I did turn the heat here down, guys, because we are making sure you do not burn the garlic. You'll ruin everything. All right, so two minutes later, we were perfect. It's time to add chicken stock. Now, I have four cans of chicken stock here. Um, of course, I said I'll have the measurements down below. And we're going to get this a nice simmer, bring this up to a boil right before we drain our potatoes and toss those in. There we are. Perfect. Okay. Uh, bring this up to a boil, cook those. Takes about, depending on the thickness, mine took 10 minutes. 10 minutes exactly was perfect. They became nice and fork tender. Okay. Now at this point, everything's perfect. We're going to toss in right back in that sausage that we cooked. Now... Um, your sausage could be quite greasy. You'll see a little bit later. You're going to see a lot of grease. We're going to take it off. It's okay. All right. At this point, we're also going to add in one cup of heavy cream. Okay. It's going to give it a nice, beautiful, creamy texture or just creamy taste. It's great, great, great soup. All right. Give that a nice stir. It's going to cook this for maybe just about a minute or two. Get all those flavors melded well. Perfect. Now, we are going to chop up these potatoes a little bit. Like I said, they're going to break down. Go ahead and give it a head start. You can use a, the wooden spoon. You can use a, a potato smasher. I went with the immersion blender, which is my favorite tool. I love this tool. I just gave it a few blitzes here and there. You're not trying to turn this into a whole kind of a potato creamy soup, okay? You want those nice chunks. Now, this is when we're going to season. I gave it a taste. It wasn't too salty. Throw in some salt in there, some fresh cracked black pepper. Went ahead and gave it a nice stir, and I taste it again just to see how it was, and it was uh, perfect at this point. I actually threw in a little more salt, you didn't see, but uh, it was perfect. Gave it a few more blitzes, it wasn't thick enough. Um, it's going to break down some of the potatoes, you don't want them all the way, like I said. Now, it was pretty fatty, we're going to take that off, nobody wants to eat a mouthful of oil. But you do want to keep a little bit in there, okay? It's going to add so much flavor. So right there, I have a little bit left in there. This is when we throw in some nice, chopped, washed, fresh kale, okay? You can use kale. You can use even a uh, Swiss chard. And I've seen people use uh, spinach. I don't go with spinach. It breaks down too much. Kale is perfect for this soup. We were done. Put it in a bowl and enjoy. This is an amazing Italian soup. You guys are going to love me for this recipe. 
so great. It's almost just like the, uh, actually it pretty much is the one from Olive Garden. All right, well, that's my Zupa Toscana soup, guys. Any recipes you guys would like to learn how to make, let me know. And as always, I hope you guys enjoy.